Hello and greetings everyone, it is I, Flip the Bacon, and we are continuing on, I believe at the end credits of Undertale. Um, I cut it off early because we were going into a very long, it was about 20 minutes of recording, and I wanted to end that so we can continue on on this part. Um, as you can see, the game is coming to an end, I believe, um, unless we have any more surprises. In the last video there, we end up fighting Flowey the Flower, and uh, with the souls of the other humans, we're able to defeat him. And now we're talking to Papyrus, and then let's we'll see all, then I'll get to see you again. So we continue off the last part. He was talking about how he wants to come across the barrier with um, Undying to see us again. So here we go. Even if I have to fight you, well, keep your fingers crossed and keep in touch. It'll make our plans easier. Bye. Click. Ah, uh, Flowey's back. Why? Why did you let me go? Don't you realize that being nice just makes you get hurt? Look at yourself. You made all these great friends, but now you'll probably never see them again. Not to mention how much they've been set back by you. Hurts, doesn't it? If you had just gone through without caring about anyone, you wouldn't have to feel bad now. So I don't get it. If you really did everything the right way, why did things still end up like this? Why? Is life really that unfair? Say, what if I told you I knew some way to get you a better ending? You'll have to load your save file and, well, in the meantime, why don't you go see an undying? It seems like you could, it seems like you could have been better friends. Who knows? Maybe she got the key to your happiness. See you soon. Oh no, is the game not really over? Okay, long ago, two races ruled over the earth, so we got the game. It looks like we're starting over here. Um, so we're gonna continue on. It looks like there's a little bit more to go into the game. Um, so here's the safe spot, we'll save. Um, is, okay, no, we definitely don't wanna fight him. So we're gonna exit out there, and then we're gonna hop right back into the game. Um, cause I didn't want to fight him again for sure. Um, so we'll, oh, wrong folder. Um, we're reloading, um, Undertale here. And, uh, hopefully it's recording. Good. So we are loading this back up. Um, and I guess it wants us to go find Undying and see if we can get a better ending, I guess, in the game. So we're going to go back to where Undying is? Um, can we even get back that far? I am not too sure. Hopefully it won't be that hard to get back there. Um, oh, this is where all the human souls are. So we're going back and I wonder if we're going to have to do this whole fight over again. Um, I hope not because that would really kind of bum me out. So hopefully we can get this all done in one shot. Um, do I still have all the items on me? Um, um, they kept made something to joke about a key, so the punch card didn't do anything. I can't believe I held on to that stupid thing. Um, do I even do the monster candy, spy got hot dog, um, cloudy glasses, stained mysterious key. We'll move that over there. Um, we can move junk food over. Um, we'll keep the junk food on us. Snowman piece, we'll keep the snowman piece on us. And everything else we'll keep on us, and we'll continue on. And I guess backtrack all the way to Undying, I think so. Which is kind of a bummer. That's a long ways to go, I think. Um, but we are. So yeah, we beat Undertale, I think. And now I think we're going on to find the best ending in the game. Um, so we're going to have to go all the way back. I believe so yeah i can't believe i finally made it for this game with very very minor spoilers ever happened to me i barely knew anything about the game um i'm so glad i got to play this um it way lived up to its hype and i can't say this is definitely definitely one of the best um indie games i played i don't know if i could say it still takes over cave story but it might at this point as my favorite indie game um because we still got a couple more ways we can play through this game, too, which is kind of cool. 
Um, so yeah, this might very well have taken over a uh, cave story for me. And I am so glad we're playing this, and now we're backtracking all the way. Uh, I wonder if we can call someone if it will make any difference. Nope. Um, Papyrus' phone? Okay. Yep. So it doesn't make any difference there. And now we're backtracking all the way to the beginning of the game. I think... I don't even remember how they even get back to where we need to go. I'm assuming I'm going the right way. Because it's been a long time since I've been through this way. That elevator was broke, right? So does this elevator work now? Oh, okay. That's that. <laughs> oh my gosh, James. Um, I can't believe I did that. I went all the way back. So, yep. Say my name there. So everyone knows my name. At least my first name, anyway. Do, 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 do. Do. So, yep, yeah, we're going all the way back to, I believe where Undying was. Uh, I don't think I need to go down here. No, I don't think so. I think the way is to this way. Uh, I was kind of curious if we could walk up here. No, we can't. Um, so, we are trying to find our way back to Undying's house. And, uh... I always remember that you always remember. Okay. So we're trying to go all the way back to... Please select a location. F left floor, bottom? Was it left floor, bottom? Right floor, bottom? We're not entirely certain. Um, we are going through the video here. And... Um, yeah, so... We found the river person here. And... We actually... No... I'm assuming the one house. I don't even know where Undying's house is, but I have a feeling that it's back by the ghost house. So, Waterfall, I think, is where we want to go. <laughs> and it kills me every time seeing the boat running like a like a dog. Um, so, let's see what the Riverman has to say. Try la somewhere. It's Thursday, so be careful. Is it Thursday today? I think it is. No, it's... It's, yeah, it's Thursday today. So, that's kind of coincidental. The game must have known that. Come again sometime. Tra-la-la. -la. So, the ghost is over here. Um, this way. Somewhere. Okay, I believe this is, uh... I'm assuming this was our house over here. This other house that had, uh, like a fish skull. Um... Keep working on that mixed CD. Oh, that's my TV. I like to watch a show on it sometimes. And then, let's see. This CD is labeled Spook Tunes. Play it? Yeah. Play the Spook Tunes CD. Oh, the classic Spook Tunes. They don't make these songs like they do anymore. Used to anymore. Um, so, yeah, we're talking to this guy again. Just kind of seeing what he was thinking. Dang, that ambience. It's like my whole body is begin being spooked. Uh, the CD's label, Gulzang's Music. Play it. Oh, this one. Once you learn the lyrics, it's hard not to sing along. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, so yeah, in my last video, someone left a comment saying that I should lay down the ghost um, for a longer time. It's locked. Um, mysterious key, maybe work on it? Use the mysterious key. The red house door is unlocked. The key disappeared. Um, whose house is this? Dearest Diary, our cousin left the farm to become a training dummy. This leaves just Blukey and I. Blukey asked me if I was going to try to become Corporeal too. That sounded so resigned. Come on, Blukey. You know I never leave you behind. And besides, I never find that kind of bo I'll never find that kind of body I'm looking for anyway. Huh. Uh, Dearest Diary, I like to buy a new diary for every entry I make. I love to collect diaries. Dear Diary... Shiren's sister fell down recently. It's sad. Without her sister to speak for her, she's become more reclusive than ever. So I reached out to her and told her that she, Blukey, and I should all be formed together sometime. She seems to like that idea. I don't know who this is. House, um, my darling diary. I met someone interesting today. Last week I posted that advertisement for my human fan club. Today was our first meeting. 
Only one other person came. Honestly, she's a dork and she's obsessed with those awful cartoons, but she's kind of funny too. I want to see her again. Dear Diary, my diary collection is going fabulously. I have like five now. Um, Dear Diary, she surprised me with something today. Sketches of a body that she wants to create for me. A form beyond my wildest fantasies. In a form like that, I could finally feel like myself. After all, there's no way I can beca can be a star the way I am now. Sorry, Blukey. My dreams can can't wait for anyone. Did the ghost? Is that Metaton? Um, so we can't get past here. I'm. This is like did Metaton was he a ghost that became a robot? Or I mean, uh, yeah, a ghost that became a robot. So we're gonna go over to Undying's house now. I think and save and uh, see what happens now. Oh. What? 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 It's a living. So, Papyrus is here. Oh ho! The human arrives. Are you ready to hang out with Undying? I have a plan to make you two great friends. Will you hang out? Yes. Okay. Stand behind me. Psst. Make sure to give her this. She loves these. Oh no, that's probably not good. No Papyrus, he always foils everything. Hi, Papyrus. Ready for your extra private one-on-one -on -one training? You bet I am, and I brought a friend. Hi, I don't think we've... Oh yeah, her face over there. Nah, she's looking over probably at Papyrus. <laughs> Why don't you two come in? <laughs> Here, Undying. My friend brought a gift for you on their own. Uh, thanks. I'll, uh, put it with the others. <laughs> so, are we ready to start? Oopsie doopsie. I just remembered, I have to go to the bathroom. You two have... <laughs> He's a skeleton and he has to go to the bathroom. <laughs> you two have fun. What? <laughs> he just totally jumped out the window. Um, yeah. Uh, so why are you here? To rub your victory in my face? To humi humiliate me even further? Is that it? No. Then why are you here? Uh, wait, I get it. You think I'm going to be friends with you? Huh? Right? Yes. Really? How delightful. I all, I accept. Let's all frolic on the fields of friendship. Not. Why would I ever be friends with you? If you weren't my house guest, I'd beat you up right now. You're the enemy of everyone's hope and dreams. I will never be your friend. Now get out of my house. Dang. What a shame. I thought Undying could be friends with you. But I guess... I overestimated her. She's just not up to the challenge. Challenge? What? Papyrus? Wait a second. Darn it. He thinks I can't be friends with you? Foo-hoo-hoo-hoo. -hoo -hoo. What a joke. I could make friends with a... I could make friends with a wimpy loser like you any day. I'll show him. Listen up, human. We're not just going to be friends. We're going to be besties. Uh, she's holding her hands up to her face. I'll make you like me so much, you won't be able to think of anyone else. Foo hoo 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 hoo. It's the perfect revenge. Why don't you have a seat? It's so nice to have you over. Why not take a seat over at the table? One time, Alphys, a uh, friend, came over here. All she did was lie seductively on the piano and fed himself grapes. I don't really like that guy. But I admire his lifestyle. So Alphys is a guy? Um, yeah, I guess it makes sense. I didn't, I didn't even think about it. I can't believe he leapt through the window like that. Normally he nails the landing. One time, yep. Okay, we already read that, so... I always assumed that Alphys was a girl. It's the sink. In the sink is a teacup in the shape of a fish. It's This oven is some top of the line m thing. But you know, as much as technology advances, nothing beats food home cooked with fire magic. There's a silverware drawer. It has forks, spoons, knives, tiny swords, axes, spears, nunchucks. I hate the cold. I hate cold food. So Alphys fixed up my fridge so it heats up 
food instead. Hot fudge. Or hot fridge. The world's greatest invention. Humans suck, but their history kind of rules. Case in point, this giant sword. Historically, humans wield swords up to ten times their size, right? Um, should we say true or false? True. Heh, I knew it. When I first heard that, I immediately wanted one. So I, so me and Alphys built a giant sword together. She figured out all the specs herself. She's smart. Wait, didn't she call him a he just a sec ago? She's smart, huh? Humans suck. They're kind of, kind of rules. In case of the giant sword. History's human science. Is that right? Let's say false. Pfft, you liar. I read Alpha's human history book collection. I know all about your giant swords. Your colossal alien fighting robots. Your supernatural princesses. Hey, there's no way you're not gonna fool me. Um, yeah. Adore, you wanna see my room? Too bad. No nerds allowed. Well, maybe some nerds. So I guess we'll sit down now. Sit down and progress? Yes. Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink. All set. Would you? What would you like? Um. So, folks, we're gonna end this video. This took a lot longer again, and maybe we'll finish it up with part 41. As always, flip that bacon and stay tuned for the next video, which should hopefully be the true ending of Undertale. Thank you again, and have a great day. Goodbye.